India successfully test fires its hypersonic missile in the coast of Odisha. So far, the Russia, China, and the US have been developing hypersonic test vehicles. India successfully test fires its hypersonic missile in the coast of Odisha. So far, the Russia, China, and the US have been developing hypersonic test vehicles. The hypersonic missile will cruise at five times the speed of sound or Mach 5 with 3836.35 miles per hour. The hypersonic maneuver use of the scanted propulsion for ignition. The Defense Research Organization of India, the DRDO, which conducted the HSTDV test, called it a historic mission, which is a giant leap in indigenous defense technologies and significant milestones towards a self-reliant and empowered India. So in the defense and the security establishment of India said the test was done from APJ Abdul Kalam test range, the Vila Islands in Odisha, Balasore. In a statement, the DRDO official said the scrambled engine worked at the high dynamic pressure and at a very high temperature. The ship was also deployed in the Bay of Bengal to monitor the performance during the cruise phase of the hypersonic vehicles. All the performance parameters have been indicated at every sounding success of the mission. Even the India's Defence Minister Mr. Ragnath Singh congratulated the DRDO in his tweet. With this hypersonic missile test, India enters with other three nations, the US, Russia and now India. Also, this is the first test for the hypersonic missile in India. Still, there is more tests to be conducted in coming years and later moving towards the production in the next five years. The first five Rafale fighter jets, dubbed as the Game Changer, was formally inducted into the Indian Air Force on Thursday at a glittering ceremony in Ambala Air Force Base of India. The Defence Minister Rajna Singh, his French counterpart Florence Sparley, the Chief of Defence Staff of India General Bipin Rawat and the Ash Chief Marshal of India RKS Badari were among the dignitaries who attended the ceremony. So what do you think of India testing successfully its first hypersonic missile and inducting the Rafale jets which is a game changer according to the Indian media and the officials. Indian Navy and the Indian Air Force conducting massive drills and holding a large meeting on the next step against China in the Ladakh and the Andaman Nicobar Island regions. Indian governments connect seven Chinese firms linked with Chinese military. Indian Air Force to conduct two-day commander-level meeting to discuss the deployment of the advanced Rafale jets, which is coming this month of July 2020. Also, the main event of the discussion is about the situation in the India-China border. As India's Defense Minister said, the talks are not guaranteed for peace. As of now, China refusing to leave the East Ladakh region of India. Air Force have deployed the entire fleet of most advanced jets of Mirage 2000, Su-30, MAG-29 along the China-India border. Even the Apache helicopters are also fully deployed along their border. To add strength to the Indian Air Force, India gets the Rafale jets in few days' time. It has long-range air-to-air defense systems, which will be a bigger boost for the Indian Air Force against China and Pakistan. India plans to induct the Rafale along with the Russian fleets. Along with the Indian Air Force, the Indian Navy conducts a massive military drill in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands near the Malacca Strait. The drill includes the Indian Navy battleships, frigates, submarines and destroyer ships. Already the US Navy is conducting a massive military Navy drill in the South China Sea with USS Nimitz and USS Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier in a rare dual drill. Also, India has sent its Eastern Naval Fleet Rear Admiral Sanjay Vatsayan 
on the battleships along with it to the Malacca Strait region. When US Navy conducting a massive drill, India too now joined them, which indirectly both countries giving a big message to China. As Andaman and Nicobar Islands has all three military services of India, one of the former Indian ambassadors said in his policy brief, India should open up the islands of Andaman and Nicobar to the friendly navies of countries such as the US, Australia, Japan and France. Some analysts want the Quad headquarters to be set up in the islands. Indian government has identified seven of the many Chinese companies in India are allegedly or directly or indirectly having the connections with the PLA or the Chinese military. The companies include big names like Alibaba, Tencent, Hawaii, and Cynthia Steel Limited. The 2018 study already found that the startups of India are controlled by the Chinese investments in the category of social media, e commerce, and content making. Indian government is yet to decide what to do about the Chinese companies having a link with their Chinese military. So, what do you think of Indian Air Force and the Navy conducting a massive drill along with the US Navy against China? Can India stop the Chinese companies' investment from investing in India? Indian companies, including Mahindra, which is setting up the first ever Indian automotive plant in the United States, are increasing their investment in America, the US Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said today. US companies and the products have everyday presence in the lives of Indians, and we see increasing investments by the Indian companies in America, including a Mahindra Mahindra vehicle plant that will open this month in Dayard the first ever Indian automotive manufacturing plant in the U.S. Tillerson said at a joint press conference with the External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj of India, Mahindra and Mahindra plans to roll out of road utility vehicles from the Gerard plant. Tillerson added that besides the partnering on the issues related to regional and global stability, both the U.S. and India continue to benefit from their strong economic bonds. Our two countries have history of trade that dates back to 18th century, long before the independence of either one of our nations," said Tillerson. He also said, as the part of the growing trade relationship between the two nations, the first shipment of American crude oil arrived in India at the beginning of this month, making the first U.S. oil export to India in more than four decades. Continued all the sales have a potential to boost the bilateral trade by up to $2 billion per year. In fact, U.S.-India trade relationship which reached nearly $150 billion last year, touches many parts of the lives both of our country and the citizens," said Tillerson. Our message is that it is the business as usual, he stated. So what do you think of India is pouring its investment in US and UK? Will there be any race against India and China to both these countries? Post your comments below and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching this is wc daily think big think different bye